Hello there. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to review the new Daily Harvest item. I just got this. It's roasted eggplant plus red pepper caponata. I believe that's pronounced. And it's just your basic um, harvest bowl ingredients as far as... It, I think all their bowls are pretty much the same as far as like cooking them. And there is a lot in this bowl. And before I forget, I do a lot of daily harvest reviews, so I'll leave a link below the video, and that will be a playlist of all the daily harvest, because I do a lot. A lot of daily harvest I like, and some of it is, like, not good. And so, let's get right into that. So, yes, I do a review in the car. I think it's better lighting. So I went ahead and mic'd it because normally that's what I do because for uh, saving. Oh, that's interesting. It almost looks like little pieces of meat. Do you see that? I wonder what that is. Hmm. Okay, so I smell balsamic vinegar. I don't think I had red balsamic vinegar in here. Oh, let me tell you something. I don't like olives. Before I say anything, I do not like olives. And so, I smell eggplant and balsamic vinegar. That's what I smell. There's a lot of little ingredients in here. Okay, I taste eggplant. It's pretty strong on the eggplant. If you don't like eggplant, you might not like it. And I don't like olives, and I don't even taste olives yet, but I just tried it, so. Mmm. Well, that's my second bite, and already I'm getting different flavors now. Almonds. I'm tasting a little bit of olives, but I don't like olives, and it's not very, very strong, and there's a good, nice sweetness to it. That um, it's like cutting back on the olives. If that makes any sense, like it doesn't make the olives so strong. There's like a woodsy, like you're biting on a piece of wood, you know, texture in here that I get every once in a while on a piece. And I'm not crazy about. I would say this is like a warm, sweet. Flavor. It kind of, reminds, kind of reminds me of Middle Eastern food. I like it. I was afraid I wasn't going to like it because I don't like olives. But the olives are in here. Wow. I just ate an individual olive. I mean, it almost has a nutty taste. I'm getting like almonds. Okay. When I eat the olive, I get like an almond, like Mediterranean kind of feel and taste. But overall, it almost has like a fusion. A fusion in this case of being Mediterranean, Italian, and Middle Eastern. I think this would go good on top of some bruschetta. Maybe because I get that balsamic taste and it reminds me of that. With like some vegan otorello. Oh. You know what would go good on this? I'll leave a link below the video. There is a company that makes really good vegan cream cheese. That on top of bruschetta a bruschetta, and then top it with this, that would be really good. So, and you get a lot, like, I like that the sweetness, it says it has raisins in it, but I'm getting more like a date taste, which reminds me of Middle Eastern. It's very interesting. Um, Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try don't forget to hit the bell icon when you do subscribe because that will alert you when i have new uh, videos and um 
Oh, I'll leave a link below the video on all my other daily harvest items. And um, I give this... I'll get it again. I like it. I think it needs something. I think it needs to go on top of some bread. You know, like it... By itself, it's good, but it, it seems like more of a side dish. So, I give it like... I get a seven point seven point seven seven point seven. Yeah, I'll get a seven point seven out of ten. I will buy it again. I'm excited though to put this on bruschetta. And that if you can choose, I'll I'll leave a link below the video and do it that way. <laughs> Until next time, please comment, like, subscribe. Have an awesome day. All right, bye. -bye.